Welcome to Price Boss. In this video, we're going to talk about how to aggregate all the comps you've collected and start to analyze them. So, setting up comps and comp data, let's get to it. So, here we are on the comp data page, and you'll notice there's nothing here. We need to bring all the data we've collected together, and let's look at what we have here. We've got 75 comps from Zillow, six comps from Craigslist. 54 comps from Landwatch, and 19 comps from Redfin. That's a lot of comps to work with. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click this button to import all of the comps together and get them all here on one page so we can work with them. This may take a moment because there's a lot of crunching going on in the background. So there it is. The data is all in here, and you can see that it automatically calculates the price per acre for every one of these properties. And it gives you a list of all the unique subdivisions and how many properties we have in each one. It's interesting the way the data came out, because in this one, we've got 117 in Goldendale and not a whole lot uh, across the board here. But that's okay. We can work with that for now. The first thing that you need to know is that when you bring the data in. Sometimes the way the subdivision data comes in isn't always the same. So for example, you may have one Golden Dale that's got a capital G and another one that has a small g. We want all of them that are supposed to be the same to look the same so that we only have the same number of unique subdivisions over here. Um, and I'm not sure just by looking at this uh, that that's not a, that's a problem here. Actually, it looks pretty good here. I don't really like the fact that this has the comma WA for Bickleton. Let's see if we can find that quickly. And there it is. So we can just go in here and fix it. And I'm just going to get rid of Bickle, uh, the Washington part. And there we go. And it'll update it over here in a moment as well. Um, but if there was, uh, if there were any duplicate subdivisions, all you'd have to do is click this button, sort it by subdivision and it'll organize them, and you can see where the ones are that are not appropriate, and you can just fix it. Um, these are Glenwood, uh, Golddale. So here's, a, here's one. Here's Goldendale, and this one is Goldedale. So it's missing the N. So now I can just go here and I can fix this. And now we've just eliminated one of the subdivisions here because it, it really belonged up here in a moment. I think we should see. 118 here for Goldendale. So that's the first thing. You don't have to know anything about sorting data. You just click these buttons and it will pretty much do it for you. Uh, the next thing we can do is we can sort it by, well, before we do that, let me show you something. So in the type here, notice we've got some that are for sale and some that are sold. We had some sold data from Zillow and we have some sold data from Redfin. Um, now, a sold comp, that's an actual comp. That, that transaction took place. So that's real data. But if a property is for sale, we might assume that the actual price it eventually sells at will be less than the asking price. There may be a negotiation. And we can make an, assum an assumption about how much it's going to be discounted from the asking price. And that's what this number right here is in yellow, the 20%. So this is enter the discount to convert from a sales price to comps. So Right now, we've got it at 20%. So what's happening here is uh, up here for this hundred, if I went uh, price per acre, 165,000 divided by 2.11 is not 62.559. We've, it, it, it incorporates the 20% discount right here. Now let's just say we want to have a different discount. I'm going to put 18%. What you'll notice is that any of the, any of the price per acres here that are for a for sale will change but anything where it's sold will not change. So right here, I've got 10,000, and then I've got a for sale uh, price per acre of 62,559. Now let's see how that changes. Notice, I still have 10,000 for, uh, for Dalesport or Dallasport, but now it's changed the number for Glenwood uh, because now I've got an 18% discount instead of a 20% discount. So that's what this number is right there. Now, the next thing I can do 
is I can sort this data by price per acre. And right off the bat, I can see that for some reason, I've got a couple where the acreage didn't come across. I'm not quite sure why, but I can easily fix that. So I've got 220 and 125. So I'm just going to go to Zillow, and I can see that was 70 uh, acres and 2.11. So um, 78 acres, and this is 2.11, and it will fix that for me. Okay. There we go, just needed a moment to update. All right, uh, now let's do it sort by price per acre again to make sure we have the, the most expensive ones at the top. Now, what some people like to do is they like to just delete the top half of, most ex of the most expensive properties and they just wanna do their analysis with the bottom half. It's a very reasonable approach. So right up here, I can see that I've got a median price of 1,757. So there's a lot of data in here. I've got 150, I'm sorry, it, it just needed time to uh, update. There's 154 comps and my median is 7,898. So if I come down here to 7,898-ish, it's right around here. So I could actually just go ahead and you, you don't do anything with this column because this auto calculates. You would start from here and, and just hold down my, the left button on my mouse and I can pull up and just delete these rows and it'll take them out of the calculation. I'm not gonna do that right now. Let's, well, we've got so much data. Let's do that. I'm gonna go ahead and, and delete this. But now watch how I delete it. I don't just delete it. I come here and I'm gonna go delete cells, shift up. That's how we delete on this sheet. And now we're gonna give it a moment and it's gonna recalculate everything and make sure that all the data is correct. So give it a moment, come back up and make sure you can see it's updating all of the subdivisions and the counts. It would have been nice if I had a greater spread and it wasn't all in Goldendale. In fact, what I may do just to make the data look a little bit nicer, I'm just gonna put a little bit more, I think in Lyle, because this is just play data anyway. And let's see, let's do a few more in Trout Lake. Let's go sort by subdivision. There you go. And we'll just put a few in Trout Lake. Oops. There we go. And maybe a few more in Centerville. What are we doing? We have six in the center, Bill. Let's do uh, Saddest Springs or something like that. So we got where there's less of it. Saddest Springs. Okay. Now we're just getting a little bit more of a split. It's just gonna make the data look a little bit nicer. Uh, North Lake Acres. That's good. It's a nice little split there. It'll just make, when we get into the deeper analysis, it'll make it look a little bit better. And if I wanted to, I can go sort again by price per acre and make sure I get it all in the right order a lot that way. And that's really what you're doing on this page. You're just getting your data ready for the real analysis, which is going to take place on this next tab, this offer analysis tab. But we've brought, we've, we've aggregated everything that we've collected onto this sheet. We've made sure all of our subdivisions um, are listed properly. And we've removed uh, uh, the upper half of properties if that's what we want to do, or you know, maybe you just want to get rid of all the five or the six figure properties, however you want to do it. Get the one, get rid of the ones that you want. And we've also set the discount that we want to use for the for sale properties. And again, this is if a property is for sale, I might assume that when it actually sells, it's going to sell at an 18% discount to the asking price. That's what this is saying. That's all there is on this, on this sheet. In the next uh, training video, we're going to go to the offer analysis tab and we're going to show how we can really turn this all into offers. Good luck.